It is Monday again, and over the weekend I sold 13 items at an average price of $23.17. Now I expected this weekend to be a little bit worse than it was because I have not listed in uh, 9 or 10 days um, because of the trip and then just kind of gathering inventory again and getting that ready. I was fully planning on listing this weekend, but our internet went out on Friday. So uh, I'm able to connect to the city's Wi-Fi for uh, doing things like printing labels, but doing anything like uploading pictures to eBay or anything that just requires more you know, internet power, I can't do. So I haven't listed this weekend either. And we have an internet guy coming in just about an hour or two, so hopefully it won't be a big issue and they're able to just get it going again. <laughs> But anyway, here's what sold. These actually just sold a couple minutes ago as I was grabbing everything else out of the bins. These sold, these are a pair of Salvador Fer Ferragamo shoes. I took a half priced offer just because I want to get rid of them and uh, $60. Well, this was a neat little um, mirror and light set. The, the cord goes into this section here. You, know, you want to look at yourself? There you are. Um, it's different on both sides. It's, it's, it's made out of plastic, but still seems like it's uh, decently made. I think this sold for about 40. Oh yeah, and the thing that's exciting about this is that the buyer messaged me after and said that they have been looking for this item for a long time and they are so excited about it and they, they just, you know, they're excited they finally found it. So it's, it's nice when, when something like that happens. A Hypercom power supply, sold for 13. These are two Biddle Ford electric heated blanket controllers. Um, two different seller, two different buyers, but they are the same. This one's a little bit more uh, discolored. Adobe Photoshop Elements 8. This is a vintage Neiman Marcus wallet made in France. Just a uh, nice leather one. An Olympus Stylus 120 camera. This sold for 25. I don't want to take this out of the bag, but what this is is this is a golf ball typewriter um, piece. I don't know exactly what it's called, um, but it's off the IBM Selectric. And instead of little things that come down like a normal typewriter, it uses this method. And uh, ooh, keep this in focus. It's kind of neat. It sold for 12 dollars. A Sony Discman, right around 20. This is a Polo Rob Lauren tie, nothing too special, um, made out of wool, uh, $13 maybe, maybe $17. It's a Namco um, TV arcade system, has Pac-Man and Duggar and, you know, games like that. We used to sell these pretty often back in Indiana, um, but I don't find them or sell them really much at all here. I think this is the second one. And this is the last thing. This is a Nashville music pennant. Nashville, Tennessee. It's pretty neat. It has a little bit of uh, some bends and whatnot, but uh, sold for I think 15. <laughs> show you this package that I just got delivered now this is something um, I did I did put it in the video so we'll roll these clips now so basically it was supposed to go to New York it made its way up to Seattle to a distribution center and then immediately just came right back to me and they say it's because I uh, the package says like address service on it well I have sent out hundreds of packages that all say this on it it's just it's just something that's on every label. So I'm wondering if there was like some new employee up in Seattle and they saw it and for some reason thought they were supposed to do this and it just you know started the process of shipping it back. So this is a package that I shipped on August 31st, which is what like nearly four months ago, three and a half months ago. And the uh, it said it was delivered, but the buyer never got it. And then it got shipped back to me due to some just weird reason. I don't really want to go into that. And so I shipped it back to them. And for some reason, just something screwy, screwy with their address. And it, it would not go back to them. So it just bounced around the country for three and a half months. And 
I, I would pay attention to the tracking a little bit, but it's just like I'm just never going to get this back. And I mean, generally, FedEx and the post office does a great job. The percentage of packages that they screw up are probably like 1%. I mean, it's very, very small, less than 1%, honestly. Um, but I think I just got it back today. But first, let me show you the uh, what this package has been doing the last couple months. All right, so I shipped it on August 31st, and it went to Kit, Washington, and then Edison, New Jersey, and then White Plains, New York, which is where it was supposed to be, supposed to go to. Well, then it left there and went to New Jersey, back to Washington, then back to New Jersey, then back to Washington, and then back to New Jersey, and then back to Washington, and then back to New Jersey, and then a different place in Washington and then back to New Jersey, Washington, New Jersey, Washington, New Jersey, Washington, New Jersey, Washington, New Jersey just back and forth over and over let's see if it went anywhere else and then here this is in Portland but this is just, it's a smart post package so it uses post office and FedEx so then you go over to the post office's stuff here's uh, New York uh, I took it back to New York yeah, this is basically them just, every time it went to New Jersey, it, they would take it to New York and then they'd go back to New Jersey. Here's, it's in Seattle, and here, December 11th, it is finally in Portland and in my hands. And here is the package, pretty beat up. I wonder uh, if everything's still together in there. Mabel, do you want to help me open the package? Tip of my knife broke off, so it's making things harder to open. Hey, why don't you come over here? Oh, I must have. Oh, I sealed this on the side. That's why it's hard to open from the center. Making a new slit. Hey, come over here. Come over here, look. Anything in there for you? Just a testament to my packing abilities. All that, and they seem like they're together. These are, oh, and I'm trying to even remember. They're tanks for a coffee machine. One of them, I think, has water, and the other uh, maybe puts like ground coffee, spent ground coffee, or the like, coffee pods when it's done. But yeah, they are, they're not broken. Well, now I can resell them. Wow. Well, I can resell them as long as I can remember what machine they go to.